Welcome to AIM Inclusive Play Tips and Ideas. Today I'd like to talk to you about this book, Creating Sensory Play at Little or No Cost. It's packed full of ideas and resources for practitioners to develop sensory play experiences for children. This book is full of ideas and really good, clear real life photographs and simple instructions on how to do sensory play experiences with the children. It also at the back of the book, there's several pages that can be photocopied and given to parents so they can have sensory play experiences at home with their children as well, which might be really nice for partnership with parents. The book is all about the seven senses. So the seven senses in the book are touch, smell, sight, balance, taste, hearing and body awareness. I really like the way this book begins by explaining what the seven senses are and how different individual children may process information differently by being hypo or hypersensitive. It'd be really useful if you could spend some time reviewing this book individually because there's a lot of information in it. And then maybe as part of a team, you could sit down and discuss the different ideas and how it would suit some of the children and enhance their learning in your setting. There's over a hundred different play ideas and sensory experiences in this book. There's going to be something in it that suits everybody and every child in your service. I like the book because it explains in simple terms why it's so important for children to engage in sensory play. I like it especially because it gives you an understanding why something will work with one child and maybe not work with another. The chapter on playing for touch is full of ideas to create sensory floor space, sensory walls, how to make homemade finger paint, tactile boxes or books. It's full of very practical everyday items that you would have in your service. The other chapter then has playing with sight and vision and there's lovely ideas in it such as bubble pictures or playing with jelly, looking at the water, seeing the reflection in the water and after each activity there's also an extension so you can extend the children's learning and development. There's also a chapter on sounds and how to use sounds for part of sensory play experiences. They can use it by making megaphones or rain sticks, listening games, sound bingo or finger sound balloons. There's also a chapter on how to explore taste in real life situations with the children, how to look at crunchy food or textures, edible play-doh or maybe even grow a herb garden with the children. There's also a really great chapter on smells and how to introduce them in sensory play. Something like going for a smelly walk, you know, have leaves, grass, flowers, the trees, what smells are in your community and then maybe you can bring them back and make a scent book with the children to kind of capture that memory for them. In playing with balance you will find information on games and materials that you can make and explore with the children. Balancing with balloons or balancing with objects and you might even make your own balance beam. At the end of the book there's a chapter on how to create games to support children's body awareness, their spatial awareness or as we might know it, their bubble space. We all learn so much about the world through our senses and there are so many benefits for the children in engaging in sensory play experiences such as emotional regulation, social interactions, cooperative play, new language and vocabulary, supporting their literacy and language skills as well. This book is a drop in the ocean of ideas and all these ideas can be extended and let the children be your guide and you'll be able to support the children become confident, competent learners and learn through play and by having fun.